hello guys today's video i'm gonna telling with you how i can fix the misrepresentation error and fix the suspension so guys if you are new to this channel please hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell in this video i'm gonna sharing with you a step by step method so guys now let's jump into the screen guys, here you can see all the terms are active now and there is no such issue and once you set up your account make sure that your shipping and return and refund page set up accurately and here you can see our return page here you can see the stated is verified and here you can see our return and refund policy page make sure you have mentioned your company name return timeline and refund how you are going to refund and the return shipping cost and the restocking fee and the contact method make sure you mention all the necessary stuff and you can copy paste this template and replace the information and here you can see this is our policy and when i click on this policy you can see all the settings make sure your settings are accurate and here you can see return accept yes return window is 30 day and return method by mail and terms condition is new make sure that all the setting match with the policy that you drafted so this is the very very important stuff because most of the accounts suspended because of their return and refund policy is inaccurate and does not match with the setting they set up on their merchant center account and apart from return and refund policy shipping policy page is very very important and make sure your shipping policy page is also set up accurately and all of the information that you mention on the merchant center account make sure match with your shipping policy page and make sure add the dedicated section for handling time and the transit time and make sure your handling time and the transit time match with the delivery time and make sure you check this thing and once you check this thing we can do one more thing like here is an important option called linked account and here you can see partner and platform here we can link our other partners account like sim process we can link like other third party tools also like ship station sales and order we can integrate these three third party tool so that can calculate like estimated shipping time and when i'm going to the sim process app here you can find the option called google calculated delivery speed estimated this option is very very important make sure you set up this option accurately if you set up this option then google can calculate on their way how much time you took to ship the product and what would be the estimated delivery time so make sure you link your account with your merchant center account guys my next point is very very obvious and uh, i recommend you to use the content api you can use free application or you can use any third party application like sim process to set up your product feed and make sure your product feed is set up accurately and here is the important stuff whenever you upload your product feed make sure your product title is accurate as enough and do not add any type of sales stuff like discount offer free shipping anything in your product title and make sure your product title is short as possible and the next thing is the description make sure your product description is accurate and it is depend upon what type of product you are selling and what type of description you are writing but make sure your description having like all the specification features and how to use the product if it is important 
and if you are selling the jewelry then mention the material also if you are selling the clothes then mention the size chart like all the important information we need to mention and then the product type and then category google will automatically map your product if you did not write the accurate mapping so i recommend you to map your product accurately and if you are selling like fashion product then make sure to write the color information if you are selling jewelry then make sure you provide the material information and if you are selling some like uh, consumer electronic products like refrigerator ac tv or any product then make sure you provide the star rating information and here you can see all the information and if your products are like uh, GTIN all is already assigned then make sure you provide the GTIN value UPC code this is also a very very important information if you are selling any branded products and here you can see all the information these are the information are really critical your product title and the product description and the next thing is your product image make sure your product image is as i have as high quality that you can upload make sure your image quality is high quality and if you don't have the good quality images then you can use ai tools to enhance your product images and here you can see the enhance background is option is also available in the shopify so you can enhance your product images and remove the background and you can create the images using ai so this option is also very very useful and i have created lot of images using the ai image option you can see the the images so that's how we can improve our store and the product feed and optimize our product feed so google gathering all the important data and google system will receive all the important information so make sure you provide all the important accurate information so guys these are the important setting and the things that you need to consider if your account got suspended and whenever you see any issue in your product feed make sure fix as soon as possible and guys if you are doing all these stuff then your account will be approved within a few days maybe sometime it will take few weeks but if you are doing great work and managing your store properly then your account will be approved guys so guys that's it for now and if you are looking for the merchant setup service then you can contact us thank you for watching this video we will see you in the next one goodbye